One thing that I need to comment on, and this is something that's been bothering me for years, and it's I something know. that I need to get out there. I think you should. Get it off your chest. Let's Thank you. It, make you feel better. I have been going to Arrowhead Stadium, and I've been going to Missouri football and basketball games since I was a little kid, since I was four or five years old. My dad brought the love of the Chiefs and Mizzou to me, and I, I continued it from there. What I have seen in this country for the past five to ten years is nothing but a bunch of bandwagon front-running fans of these teams. And I'm tired of it, Chris. We sat at Arrowhead three or four different times this year with opposing fans all around us wanting to talk, and they're not even from the city. No. They were, they're not from Baltimore. They're from St. Louis. You know what? You have no room to come into my house and talk to me when you're not even a real fan of your team. That's you go right. buy a Flacco jersey and want to say you're a Baltimore Ravens fan. They've only been a team since 96. I'm so tired of this crap. I've been a fan of my team. I have a tattoo of a Missouri Tiger on my arm, and I have to sit here and watch these fans come into our house and talk crap to us. This thing goes to you, Kansas basketball fan. You guys are KU basketball fans. What about football, you say? Oh, I don't care about football. That's yep. a bandwagon fan. That's, That's bandwagon. a joke. Yeah, I, I, and i got to agree with him because... I'm sorry. Well, well no, 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 it's fine. I, I like to see you get it off your chest because we talk about it all the time. Look, I have... I think he feels like I do, and like everybody, anybody that's a sports fan knows, there's nothing worse than you go to a bar, or you go out to eat, or go somewhere, and there's somebody wearing a Baltimore Ravens jersey, or something like that. I don't have a problem with that. If you pick them from day one, and they're your team, that's fine with me. Well, what I have a problem with, and where he's coming from, is when teams start doing good, and you just, you literally, you just jump on the bandwagon. It must be nice, I mean, because I've never been we, afforded that luxury. We live and die with these guys right here. It doesn't matter how bad, how good, and how frustrated we get. When the next season rolls around, guess what? We go back to the black and gold, and we go back to the red and white, and we're ready to roll. And these, these fans that say, I've been a Boise State fan since I was no years old. No, you sure. haven't. No, you have not. And, when you, and especially if you're from this area. You're going to tell me back when Boise State didn't win a game every season in the weakest conference in college football that you were a Boise State fan? No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. You know why I think you didn't? Because, one, we don't get them on radio here. And, two, we wouldn't have gotten them on TV because nobody would have wanted to watch them. And, that, you know, it bothers me as much as it bothers him. I don't mind if you're a fan of a team, but don't change every year. You know, we've got good, I've got good friends that I went to high school with, that you went to high school with, Brandon Morin. He was a Bucks fan way back then. He's still a Bucks fan now. He was a Bucks fan with him through the Super Bowl. He's a Bucks fan because he chose them when he was little. Was he from Tampa? No, but he liked the Bucks. And I can okay. appreciate that. My cousin is a diehard Texas fan and a diehard Falcons fan from way back. Sure, he picked him out of a hat, but at least he's. I'm talking, and this is sports. This is supposed to be fun. America is a great, the greatest country in the world because we all enjoy sports. It's America's passion, guys. It is. And I appreciate fans of all teams. I appreciate. But if you're going to be a fan, be a fan. That's right. Don't come in here telling me about how you're a Boise State fan or, or a New England fan when you're not even from Boston. It's a joke to me. Come on the sports tour, guys. We appreciate all the fans from all the teams. Yes, we do. We do. This, and this is just our opinion, This guys. is directed at guys. That are You know what? I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan of the 70s, a Niners fan of the 80s, and a Cowboys fan of the 90s. Choke on that! Yeah, and it's, it's just frustrating. It's frustrating when you go to a Chiefs game and you've got a guy from Overland Park that says, well, I just, I'm just i a Baltimore Ravens fan. And Must be like, nice. Really? Are you from Baltimore? No, I'm not from Baltimore. But when you start like Notice the he's not a Cleveland Browns fan. <laughs> he's, not, he's, you know, he's not an Arizona Cardinals fan. No, 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 no. Ravens, Eagles, those are two. I'm tired of it. It's, just, it out it's frustrating. I mean, my God, it's in Kansas. I'm sorry. Look, I've got, I always have a lot of respect for all of our rivals, but it's hard for me to have respect when you expect us to go through the Kansas and Missouri basketball games. We may be losing every year, but guess what? We're still showing up at the zoo, and now that we're getting better, we're still supporting our team just like we were. And were. always did. They have, they have one bad football season. It's like, oh, I'm just a Kansas fan. I don't basketball care about fan. football. I've even heard I'm a Missouri football fan, and I'm a Kansas that basketball is, That is a joke. No, that's not the way it works. I'm sorry, that's not the way fandom works. It's not the way that I was ever, because that is not loyalty. We are loyal to our teams like we're loyal to our women. And that's just the way it works, baby.